Hey everybody! Okay, I've got some samples on my hands and I want to show you how to apply yours. So, yours is going to be coming in the mail and when it arrives, don't wait. Apply it so you can be amazed at the color street. <laughs> it really is amazing. Blows my mind every time I apply it. Okay, so what you're getting in the mail from me, you're going to get a little sheet of instructions and some tips and tricks. So tips and tricks are on the front, instructions are on the back for French manicure solid step by step. And then you're also gonna get a little biz card and your actual sample. So a full set comes with 16 strips, sample comes with two. So the full set actually has a size for every size fingernail. There are 16 different sizes, they're double-ended strip and each end is a different size. So, and you're also gonna get an alcohol prep pad, which is just, it's just an alcohol swab, little. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do before applying this is wash your hands. You wanna get rid of any excess oils. So wash your hands, don't apply lotion before and after. You definitely wanna make sure the nail strips cure before you put any lotion on, okay? And then what you'll do is you'll take your alcohol prep pad and then wipe off your nails just to get rid of any excess oils then make sure that you push your cuticles back so if any of the nail polish strip gets stuck on any any of your cuticle um, it'll peel off a little bit so make sure that you push your cuticles back i highly recommend these rubber cuticle pusher backer things and i'm always giving these away for early bird specials or my vip group so they're an awesome awesome little uh what is the word <laughs> tool to use when applying color street so you also can get away with not using a nail file but i always recommend using a nail file to just clean up the ends so let me show you how to do this so i already opened up a sample i did uh, samples on this hand you can see i've got a glitter so glitter solid and nail art they all go on the same way french manicure has a little uh, extra step but they're very, very easy and they look really nice. Okay, so the first thing you'll do when you get your set and you open up your sample is you'll size it up to your fingernail. So I know that this size goes with my pinky nail. So what you're gonna do is very first thing is peel off this plastic cover. Okay, if you don't peel that off and then you try and apply this on your nail, it's gonna be really difficult and you're gonna be like, Polly, what were you talking about? This is not the easiest thing ever. So make sure you take this off this does not belong it's just there to protect it until you use it so next you need to decide which end you're going to use i know i'm going to use this end you can peel the silver tab off though if you need to use this end it's already perforated so i just peel off the strip smell it it smells just like nail polish it is not a vinyl sticker it is actual real nail polish Okay, so it's sticky on the back, it's dry on the front. So there's a base color and top coat. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. I just set it down on one side of the nail and I line it up to the very edge so I have nice edge to edge coverage. So line it up on the very end and then I just simply, you just press it down. <laughs> I know, what, that's it? Yeah, you just press it down. Okay, so I press it down and then what I'm gonna do is just press it over the end of my nail like this and then at this point you can grab your nail file or you can use your fingernail and you can kind of perforate underneath the nail and then it just tears right off that's it okay you don't have to cut anything or anything like that but the end of my nail is still there's still a little bit of excess on there so I take my nail file and I just clean up the edges a little bit so I go down like this and just clean up the edges and that's it it's applied amazing so now let me show you how to do the French French manicure okay so you you get two strips of the French manicure so in French is our best deal it's buy one get one free and it's fourteen dollars so you're getting two French manicures for seven bucks that last over two weeks which is way better than the salon so you get a white tip and then a clear coat so the first thing you apply is the white tip, not the clear coat. White tip goes on first. So again, you wanna line this up to your nail, which, which uh, strip is the right size for which nail. And then of course you peel off. It's orange, there's an orange tab at the top. It says peel off. 
Peel it off. You do not want that on there. And then peel off the white strip like that. And then again, I like to do it, I like to start on one side and line it up completely with the edge of my nail like that. So I know I have really good edge to edge coverage. And then you can gently pull it over to the other side. Now see, I made that kind of thick and I don't super love that. So the great thing about these is you can lift them up and reposition them before you're set on one, one um, position on your nail. So I'm gonna reposition it so it's a little thinner. I'm actually gonna look this time instead of looking at the screen. And they're very soft, so they can rip. They're made out of nail polish, so you have to be careful when you're kind of tugging at them. But then you just press it down onto your fingernail like that. And then again, you just kind of press it over the edge of your nail. And at this point, I can take a nail file and I can file it off or I can just use my fingernail and it just kind of rips right off, just tears right off and there's the extra. So, okay, so now I've got my tip on. I am going to just file off any excess. And then I'm gonna add on the um, top coat. All right. So you take your top coat, peel off the orange, <laughs> the orange tab. We don't want that on there. And then peel off the clear coating. And then again, just like with the solids and glitters and nail art, you do the same thing with your clear strip. Line it up to the edge of your nail. So like I say, I love to do it from the side. Instead of going middle down, I go side over. So I have some really nice edge to edge coverage and then you can just gently tug and just gently tug and press it down. And then I also like if I see a wrinkle at the end of the nail, I just gently tug and pull and um, press any wrinkles out. That's another reason why this rubber cuticle stick comes in handy. So I highly recommend getting your orders in for an early bird special or always participating in the giveaways in my group because I will do these as giveaways. They're super awesome and kind of hard to find. So I use the rubber cuticle stick and I will press hard onto the strip just because um, the wooden ones tend to kind of stab at it and the rubber ones really help to press it down. So again, you just press it down and then I use my nail and I just kind of Peel at it underneath the nail like that and get rid of the excess. And then I take my nail file and I just clean up the edges nicely. File off any excess. So you can see I've got all that little excess underneath my nail. Just tears right off. And then it's applied. And there you go. So now I've got my samples on my fingernails. They look great. And so now what I want you to do is paint your other fingernails, your other naked nails with regular liquid polish. And then watch over the next few days how it compares to the samples. So you will notice that your wet polish is harder to get on. It smudges, you'll probably smudge it right after. <laughs> and it definitely will start chipping after just a day or two. So, um, and then be sure to go post a picture in the group and of your color, we call it the Color Street Challenge, and let us know what you think. Okay, I'm excited to see all your manicures so I can gush over them.